Jesus, thank you for the supply of your spirit. We receive all that you have in store for us. And we declare this atmosphere free for your spirit to move. That you will ask a quest- the question in somebody's heart. Give somebody direction. Comfort in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Once again, let's give it up for the Lord. Hallelujah! We celebrate you, Father. Hallelujah. So, we have two more Sundays, this Sunday and next Sunday, to be through with our teaching on the care for unbelief. Hallelujah. I pray it stays so. Hallelujah. Okay, be seated, be seated. Greet your neighbor, sorry. Greet your neighbor warmly. Tell them we're happy to see them. Hallelujah. Okay. Hey, Daleko, you went to the local government chairman. That is it. <laughs> Glory be to God. Okay. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews 3. We read from verse 7. Hallelujah. Who's there? Okay, therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as in provocation. As, please, who is there now? Follow, follow, yeah. Do not harden your heart as in rebellion. In the day of trial, please mark all those who are due, you know, do not harden your heart as in rebellion. As, or as in the day of trial in the wilderness. Where, where your fathers tested me, tried me, and saw my work, what? 40 years. Therefore, I was angry with that generation and said, they always go astray in their heart and they have not known my ways. Go on. So I swore in my wrath that they shall not what? Enter my rest. Go on. Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing what? From the living God. But exalt one another daily, why it's called today, lest any of you be hardened through the sickness of sin. Say amen to that. Amen. We started this a couple of weeks ago, talking about the an evil heart of unbelief. We talked a little, a little bit about the traits or the causes. We said sometimes unbelief could be deliberate, right? Uh, we said sometimes because of the nature of it, it could be inexcusable. And we also said that sometimes it could be what? It could be demonic, like somebody coming under demonic influence. Because some unbelief is, uh, <laughs> hallelujah. And then we said also it could be as a result of slowness of heart to believe. Glory be to God forever and ever. And we said one of the consequences of unbelief is uh, it provokes God, not because God is on ego trip or ego trip, no. It provokes him because it denies him the opportunity of blessing you. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. We also said that if somebody walks in unbelief, it prevents them from walking in the rest of God. You will see them being restless, you know, because they don't believe what God has said. It's like a man who gets home, who tells the wife, I am hungry, and the wife said, don't worry, in the next 20 minutes, I'll fix something for you. And you actually, actually see her enter the kitchen, and um, because you cannot see the food, you are banging table, and you are kicking things. Meanwhile, the food is getting ready. 
you know, uh, it makes you restless uh -huh, because you don't, you know, all that kind of stuff. So when you don't believe what God has said, it can make a man restless. It can make him to begin to pursue what is not missing. And let me, I, I, I would like to reiterate again. Hear me, brothers and sisters. If you find your life restless, you are always jumping from one mountain to another mountain. Always seeking God. Are you hearing me? Always, you know, uh, somebody come and pray for me. Somebody come and pray with me. And you are sending texts. You had just a little dream. You woke up, you are sweaty. And then you are, throughout that day, you are moody. And they say, what is the problem? They say, I had a dream. You, you know, and you cannot believe that what God has said supersedes even your dream. Yeah. Bible says, let God be true. Let every man be what? A liar. And, and you are there worried about your future. That what will future hold? In everything. Let me tell, tell you something. Nigeria does not hold your future. Right. Your future is in the hand of God. That is why God himself said, I know the thought I think towards you. To give you a future and a hope. Glory be to God forevermore. He said, I will go ahead of you and make crooked places what? Straight. Glory be to God forevermore. So, I, 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 we need to repeat all of this so that you, you can be at rest with yourself because as long as you are in this life, you will be having challenges. You will be having things that will threaten your faith, that will threaten your peace. That will trust in your rest. But make sure you remain in the arena of rest because of what God has done. If you don't, Satan will help you steal your peace of mind. Glory be to God forevermore. For the fact that a man's sister wearing a suit and looking well put together doesn't mean he has rest. A lot could be going on in his mind and in his life that makes him restless. Glory be to God forevermore. Don't let anything see your rest. Bible says, we that believe have entered what? is rest. That is the first thing. The project is not done. The money has not come. Here yeah, you are not crying. That is rest. Glory be to God forevermore. The supply is not yet there. Yet, you are confident in God. That is rest. Glory be to God forevermore. The letter, of, uh, the letter of employment has not come. Yet, you are praising God. That is rest. Glory be to God forevermore. That's why I had a quarrel with that uh, choir guy on, on, Sunday, on Wednesday. What shall we do today? Today, oh, I will praise, I will lift up my hand in praise. For I know you are always there for me. Almighty God, you are my all in all. Yeah. What am I called? What am I about? Say something like that. When success comes my way, I will praise you. Yeah. I fought. I fought the person. I, I can't see the person addressing. I fought the person. You can't wait until you, success comes your way before you praise God. It's an aberration. Of, it's, you know, you hear me? It's, it's turning scripture upside down. What is God? What is the name of that nonsense? Can't be saying, uh, whatever goes my way, when success comes my way, I will pray. Who, who, who wrote that song for you? What, what they wrote in that original song is that whatever comes my way, that is what they wrote there. If you are waiting until success comes to praise God, you are not in faith. Bible says, why Abraham was waiting? Bible says, he was in thanksgiving. That's what the Bible says. Isaac had not come, yet he was praising God. That is faith. Anybody can celebrate when you have breakthrough. Yeah. Who will not celebrate? Are you mad? <laughs> that something good happens or you not say, mm. No. If you want to dear me, whether I can celebrate, just give me two million after this service. I'm dearing you. <laughs> you will see whether I will not celebrate. I will remove my suit. <laughs> Are you hearing me? And be, eh, I will go dance for you. <laughs> I will sing your praise. I will pray, Pastor, let press you. <laughs> we will not celebrate. Are you hearing me? If you celebrate when good things happen to you, you are just being kind. It doesn't mean you are sinful. It means you are walking by sight. It's because things happen. You are walking by feeling. Lazarus was still dead, still thinking. Jesus said, Father, I praise you. 
because I know you have heard me and I know you hear me always. Uh, all, 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 of you, all of you that have the theology, sorry, you know, that means the way I'm going now, you may expect to three weeks now. Because I've not even said what I came to say today. You know, and all of you that have the theology that, you know, when Jesus, you know, why, why did Jesus say that, Father, I thank because you heard me, you heard me always. Because he has spent some time in prayer. He has spent some time what, praying. And then when he came to the public, he said, Father, I thank because you heard me. There's no record of that. It's our Nigerian filling the gap. There is no record. That, was there a record of that? They told him Salazar was sick. He said, we are coming there. You know, but he said something that was powerful. He said, this sickness is not unto to death, but that the Son of Man might be glorified thereby. So, when they said, when, when the Son of Man, the Bible are talking, he said, no. He said, let us go. He said, we'll go, we'll go down and wake him up. Let us go and wake him up. And they say, okay, that means he's sleeping now. He's not dead. Hallelujah. Then he now told them, no, the Bible said, now told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. But he said, but we are going there to do what? To wake him up. So when he got there, he said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. When I said that that sickness is not unto death, you heard me. When I said we are going there to wake him up, you heard me. You heard me. Are you hearing me right now? Why was he saying that? Because God has said, whatever you speak, say in my hair, I will do that unto you. So he was basing everything on the scriptures. Are you hearing me? So you know now why we are not afraid of the future. Because we are saying, our past shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. So when we are saying it, he has heard us. He heard us. When we say things like, it either happens before we get there, or it happens after we live there. He heard us. Can I even share a testimony with you? See, I came here this morning, I can't teach you. I said, you see, all of you cursing my life for me now. You know, in case you think I'm joking, uh, let me mention this. You know, Anflem. I've been to Anflem house because it was not feeling well. And so I know the terrain, I know the neighborhood very well. And uh, because we're having some muscular issues, going through therapy to be strengthened, the doctor, the other therapist told him, please, young man, engage in some physical exercise to strengthen your muscles. So he bought, to make it fun, he bought himself a bicycle, you know, everywhere he's walking. And he got some for the kids, for his three. You saw his kid was one of the coordinators for last Sunday. You know, got every, all them. So they will ride Sunday evening. On that road, they live in um, Dawaki. They live there. They ride. I know they tell you very well. They ride on that road. So they were riding not this past Sunday, the other Sunday evening. As they were riding, then the boys, the, one of his kids, the boys uh, chain, got, got uh, came out. So he stopped. He all stopped because his muscles are not still very strong because of the what he was challenging was facing. So he was trying to fix it, but his hands were not very firm. So, somebody came out in the neighborhood to help them fix it. And as they were fixing it, other people came. They, they know him in the neighborhood. He's a fine boy, take it. <laughs> but they you know in the neighborhood, and because they ride that bicycle, it makes them popular in the neighborhood. So, everybody came out. Ah, they were just gisting, 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 everything. So, finally, they were there for about 20 minutes. They fixed it. They were still gisting. You know, the way neighbors came out, everybody was gisting. So, so, the daughter and I said, Daddy, tomorrow is Monday. We have not bought provision for the week. So and I said, okay, let's go. So, hey, bye-bye, everybody. They took off. They got to the supermarket in front, not too far from there, Lewis Market. They entered. They have not entered. They were just parking their bike when gunshot erupted. <laughs> that kidnap that happened that time, that was in the news two weeks ago. They parked every, even including the boy that helped him to fix that thing. That time, they parked the Pack the boy. There was a woman that stopped by to say, hey, I like the way you, your family come. Come and teach me how to ride. Every, they pack every, they just left the place. It happened before we get there or it happens after we leave. In fact, when we're sharing testimony with me, say, Pastor T, that thing you always say that it happens 
before we get there, it happens after we, but it will never happen while we are there. They pack everybody. That was the day they kidnapped 40 something people. In Dawaki there. You better be up in faith. Though. You better be saying what you are going to say. You know why I'm saying some of these things? You can't be careful enough. But you can walk in faith all your life. Are you hearing me? Glory be to God forever, man. Can we say some things together this morning? Say, with me, the Lord is my shepherd. Therefore, I shall not want. All the days of my life, I am kept from evil. My knees are met. I'm above only. I'm never beneath. I am not confused. When I come up against any situation, I know what to do because the Holy Spirit shows me. All my projects are completed. I don't have an abandoned project. In the name of Jesus. I will not die prematurely. From the top of my head to the source of my feet. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is working in me. Giving me life, health, and zest. In the name of Jesus. My mind is sharp. My life is good. Goodness and mercy. Follow me all the days of my life. Whatever I set my hand to do, prosper in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, look at me. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, you will hear good news about me. About me. Me, God, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! You hear me? Yes, sir. When you, 40 years from now, when, when I ask about you, yes, I will hear good news about you. In the name of Jesus. When I ask about, concerning your children, I will hear good news about them. Our children are mighty upon the earth. They dominate their generation. They are productive. They are part of the solution. They are not part of the problem. In the name of Jesus. Because then thousands will go to school. Because of them, thousands will be accommodated. They are on top only. They are above only. They are not beneath. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's what we declare. That's what we do. Are you hearing me? So we stand in faith concerning everything. Concerning everything, concerning every area of my life, concerning everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So when, it, when someone doesn't walk in faith, he provokes God. Because the person is literally opening the door to the devil. God is saying, can't you see? You are tying my hand. I want to protect you, but you are not allowing me. Your faith, your, your unbelief keeps me outside. And if I interfere, inter, interfere or intervene without faith, I'm breaking my word. Yeah. And I can't break my word. I'm a man of integrity. Yeah. I can only operate within the ambit of my word yeah. because I've exalted my word above my own name. So I'm not emotional about these things. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Say with me, say money coming to me. Easily. Easily. Frequently. Frequently. And in large quantities. In the name of Jesus. Don't, don't, call, don't call me greedy. Don't call me greedy. You don't have to say it. You can't even say that money runs away from you. you, can, you are you hearing me? You don't call me greedy. It shall be unto you according to your faith. Are you hearing me? Say with me again, money comes to me. Easily. Frequently. And in large quantities. I have favor with God and with men. In the name of Jesus. 
declare, I declare nothing, nothing shall be impossible, shall be impossible to, me. to me. Hallelujah. Yeah. One more thing. Say, I get things done, get things done. With, ease. with ease. Hey, hallelujah. I got things done with they may call it complicated, but when I step in, I get it done with ease. Hallelujah. Look at what we are saying right now. We raise our children with ease. We are not going to gray white hair because we are raising children. Glory be to God forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. Ah, you know one way to run to the name of the Lord is through faith. That's how to do it. Because the name of God doesn't work for everybody. It works for those who believe in the name. Glory be to God forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me quickly teach for 10 minutes. <laughs> what I came to teach. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me do, I've told you that unbelief, what provokes God? It makes a man not to work in the rest of God. You know, can I, number three, Unbelief makes a man to depart from God. That's what the word says there. Go to Hebrew chapter 3. I will continue from here next week. Because I thought I would be able to enter the cure today. But obviously, see. Hebrews 3 verse 12, please. Beware. Look at what it says here. Brethren, the same place where we read from our text. Say, beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you what? An evil heart of unbelief what? In departing from the living God. Can I explain this to you today? Maybe I'll just lay the foundation to you today. Maybe try to build on next week or I'll just say something and then we'll just leave it right that way. You know, when the Bible says in departing, in departing, unbelief makes a man to depart from the living God, it does not mean Hmm? that a man will say, I'm not following God again. That's not what he means. It's not as if a man will say, I don't believe in Jesus again. That's not what he means. Hmm, that's not what he means. That one is backsliding. Uh, he, has a di- he has a different name. Uh, that one is to deny God. Are you hearing me? Uh, that one is not to depart from living God. Glory be to God forevermore. How many of you know two people can be together, but they departed from each other? So, to depart from the living God is not this way, you know. Please, sorry. Because when you read that place in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in Acts chapter 16, where Paul and Barnabas fought, and Bible said they departed from each other. You know what I mean? It's not the same word that was used there. That one is, are you, are you okay? I said, I'm not taking John Mark. He said, we will take John Mark. I said, don't talk to me again. And everybody, everybody fashioned. After all, I'm the one that brought you to ministry. He said, so, are you the one that anointed me? And then they, they fought. And then they departed from each other. That's physical departure. You hear me right now. That is not the same word here, departing from the God. This one, the word that was used here is the word apistemi. We are not serious. <laughs> Apistemi is AP or APH for those of you that like Bible. Those of you who have not departed from living God. <laughs> APH. I, I can't remember, Shah, but APH I S T E M I. Apistemi. Yeah, Apistemi. APH I S T. E-M-I, yeah, Apistemi. 
it has three meanings. And none of them means to leave somebody. When it says, evil heart makes a man to depart, evil heart of unbelief makes a man to depart from the living God. Number one meaning to depart from the living God. Let me tell you only that today. I will tell you maybe the remaining two next week because we have to close. Is I can even tell you all this. I don't have to explain everything to you. You are very brilliant people. God are filling the gap. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why, you know, um, when I see Sister Ronke later, I will fight her because, you know, all these people that hire private schools, Uche, all of them, we will pay money to teach our children. Then when the children is coming, when the children are coming, they will not give them an assignment. Kill oh, Sorry. I'll be your What is your what is what is your home? That you will not, after we have paid you as something to teach, you will now give assignment like this. The parent cannot rest, the child cannot, nobody can rest. What are we paying for? Help us solve this problem. <laughs> it's like, to me, it's like you paying for food. And then when somebody comes, he brings out raw rice. He says, ah, go and cook it. I enjoy your, they give you pepper and onion and raw meat. Say, go and put it together. Is that what we pay for? Is that what we pay for? Please help us prepare these children. Don't send anything home. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, episteme means one number one word is to rebel against God. Is to rebel. Is the word rebel. That's the number one meaning of episteme. I don't need to run away from you to rebel against you. In fact, most, most rebels, they will stay. They will stay around. When you talk, they will look at you like this face to face. Say, go, I'm not going. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying right now? It means to rebel against God. You know the means to rebel against God? Hmm? It means, this is the rule, but I will do it my own way. Anybody that is doing it there, will look at all these rebels outside, looking through the window. Sir, this is one hour. We are coming at almost 8.30. Uh, that we are about rounding up. What are you coming to? How can you be, how can you come there for one hour service? It's even a rebellion in itself. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, so, it means... To rebel, it means to go to do things your own way. Remember when God um, sent Saul to go and kill the Amalekites? He said, he said kill everybody. Kill everybody. Kill, the, kill everybody. Because God was carrying out a judgment. He passed on them earlier in the book of Numbers. When they came out and attacked the children of Israel, and God swore. Because they were the first nation to attack Israel. God said, I will make sure. I will wipe out your memory out. So, the assignment fell on the first king of Israel. Who fell that? Abba. This is not right. We have to protect women and children. United Nations. <laughs> and then, all of that. He went and did it his own way kept some things. When God came, when the prophets came, he said, why have you disobeyed the voice of the Lord? That's what God called it. When they were talking later, he said disobedience is as worse as sin of rebellion. So what he did, God called it what? Rebellion. Glory be to God forevermore. That's what God calls it. When you want to do something your own way. Kai, Father, let me not go too far. Let me just stay with this one today. I will come next week. That's what I want to do that their own way. In everything. This is the standard of the word of God. But you said no. It's against popular opinion. It is anachronistic to modernity. We are in the fifth industrial revolution. <laughs> Hallelujah. I went to hospital on a Thursday to go and see one of our pastors was uh, on admission, and I was with him. So while I was waiting there, you know, just sitting, I saw a book. I began to read the book, you know. 
before the doctors came to drive all of us out. That they are doing what's grand, they are doing what grand or whatever they are doing. So I was reading the book, how to raise up, how to raise your children. I read it. I wanted to give the lady a call. He was, she was against everything that we know from the word of God. I know some of you will disagree with me. If she was against spanking, you know what the Bible says? It says madness is bound up in the heart of a child by the rod of correction. So the difference is not rod of punishment, it's rod of correction. Because we flock to punish. Those who have understanding flock to correct. I'm not talking to you. The way she's looking at me. <laughs> Just swear I got that. Me, I can't beat. Don't worry. If you don't beat them, government will help you beat them. So society will help you beat them. You can't carry a child and rain blows on him. You will say, you know what? You don't steal, you know, that cookies, I say not to go there. But you have gone there. Since your hand has been caught in the jar, we have to apply rod on your maximum. It is to, because the day you will do it, we have people don't like you. It might lead to tire around your neck. It's better for you to take this small one to serve as a reminder and to correct you. It is out of nothing. Bible says any child that is not corrected is a sign of hatred from the father. That's what the Bible says. It's not a sign of love because you are actually destroying the future of that baby. Is somebody hearing me right now? But we choose to do it our own way. These, these, these days, divorce is very common. Irreconcilable differences. Very stupid English. Who told you that for the fact that it's, it's a difference means it's irreconcilable? What do you do? It's selfishness that makes a man use those words. Bible says in First Corinthians chapter six, why don't you suffer? That don't you, why are we not willing to suffer, suffer wrong? So that the word of God is not blasphemed. Why? Why? No. We want to do it our own way. Our own way. That if somebody offends, you get, 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 get. get. Get even with them. But it's ways that you forgive. If your brother steps on your toes 70 times, 7 a day, that means you have to keep your leg away from where they can step on it. <laughs> because if I tie somebody steps on your leg 70 times, that means you carry your leg. You have to withdraw your leg, wear socks, and keep it. <laughs> because some things are stupid to me. You say, I don't like it, I don't like it. This is the seventh time you are stealing my money. Why are you keeping your money where they can be stolen? Because sometimes it's better to prevent offense than to try to forgive offense. Why don't we learn to do things God way? Glory be to God forevermore. Instead of worrying, why don't you pray? Stay up all night. You write, you write, write. You, not, you, you squeeze it. Inside those beans. You start again. Sister, I mean, Muji, 400,000. Yeah, from this is 100,000. If Olabi pays me, two million. You write, you write, you write. Okay, it, it's not much enough. Squeeze again. Yeah, start again. No, no, return from his opening. If all the tenants pay in the account, no, it's not balancing. Yeah, let me call my uncle in the US. Eh? You better to take one time loan without interest. Let me see. Why don't you pray? 
Bible says, have no anxiety about nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known unto God. Before you kill yourself with worry, why don't you pray? Why do you want to do it your own way? That is rebellion. That is why when they come, remember when we were in secondary school, they said, what should talk in some country? We fly their shape. And they'll be walking like this. I'll be hailing them. Shegelu, shegeto. You know, say, yeah, yeah. All of them fade their work. All of them fade. They didn't amount to anything. Because they wanted to do it what? Their own way. They cannot ask you a question. Out of this question, question one is compulsory. Please, out of the remaining six, answer any four or any two. You say, how can you make question one compulsory for me? I will answer the one I want to answer. And you will fail in a very, in a, <laughs> you will fail the way you want to fail. You want to answer right now. You cannot, we didn't bring ourselves here. We didn't create where we are. The creator has set rule in place. Walk in my ways and you will enjoy peace. But people will say, No! I want to do it my own way. Glory be to God forevermore. Amen. Amen. Psalm 107. Let me round up here. I will come back next week. This has taken my time. Hope you got something here this morning. Don't, 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 don't do it your own way. Glory be to God forevermore. 107. Let me start from verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. Those who sat what? In darkness. And what? In the shadow of death. What happened to them? Back Bible says, bound what? In afflictions what? And in iron. Why are they bound? Why are they in darkness? Look at the next slide. Next slide. What? Because what? They rebelled against the word of God. And despite what? The counsel of the most high. That is why a lot of people are in bondage. Where you need to take authority, you'll be praying. That is not the word of God. When you to take your stand in faith, you'll be drinking holy water and using anointing oil. You want to do it your own way. Kai. Hallelujah. You are in a you are, you are Jubas, right? You are in a group. You cannot decide. They say Rehaza is two it's a Tuesday or Thursday. And uh, it was good seeing you guys on Saturday, Riazin. I mean, you guys are doing an awesome job. Awesome, awesome. You know. And then, we, uh, then you said, no. Tuesday is my fasting and prayer day. My voice is fresher in the morning. You will come here and sing a loop. Because you want to do it your own way. You are doing something that we are to nothing. Because you are doing it your own way. Is somebody here know what I'm talking about right now? They will sit in darkness. They will be bound with iron. Why? Not because they were committing sin. Not because they were not praying enough. Are you hearing me? Not even not because they were not tithing. They will, because they rebel against the word of God. Glory be to God forever. That is the first meaning of that work, you depart from living God. And if this is your way, I will do it my own way. Jesus is the only way. How can you get you Christians are too narrow minded? You are too narrow minded. Of the 7.8 something billion people in the world, how can you guys just come and say Jesus is the only way? Even his Jewish brothers don't believe in him. So, what is wrong with you Africans? Hell will explain it to you. When you land, hell, we explain what is wrong with us today. Like, I, I went to preach somewhere yesterday. We, we, we went to evangelism. I was preaching. This guy, I didn't want to go to because his spirit, uh, look at, looking at me, no, spirit was wrong. So, I just felt figured that, fine, what is, let, let, at least I'm for a witness. As I got there, he just started shouting. Ah, no, I have my own church. I, I, I said, oh, what is, I don't ask, I've not said anything. What is your problem? He said, no, I don't know. I should be in your church in that place. I'm not your church now. I, I, I said, I have my own church. I've come there before. I have my own church. I said, no. I said, so what is your church? He said, my church is redeemed. I said, you are a member of redeemed. I said, no redeemed member will be shouting like this. You have your father the devil. 
Nobody from Redeem will talk like this. So when we were going, they were trying to tell me, eh? but, you know, they were just saying that. I said, no. I said, these kind of people, you pray, God, don't let them repent. It's my flesh. Hey, Father, don't let him repent. Don't grant so that when he enter. <laughs> One time. Hey, it doesn't to explain itself. Your eyes will clear. You will know where you are. But I'm not God. Let, 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 tomorrow night, the boy could become pastor. I'll be sharing testimony how he was harassing other people. I'm not happy, but God is God. <laughs> so let God do it his own way. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. So Jesus is the only way. God can just be the only way. You guys are too now. No, 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 no. Are you going to tell me that this other religion, about two billion of them are going to hell? I didn't say they are going to hell. What did the word say? You can set out to rebel against the word of God. The Bible says, he that does not have son does not have the life. He didn't say it's not that religious. He said he that does not have life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other name given among men whereby we can be saved. You can decide to do it your own way. And abuse us. Call us narrow-minded. I agree with you. Actually, we are very narrow-minded. Because narrow is the way. That leads to lie. So, on that occasion, I rest my case narrowly. God bless you. <laughs> I give you. If you want to do it your own way, you are free. The Bible calls the evil heart of unbelief. You have already departed from the living God. That's what the Bible says. I'm not a psychological teacher. I'm a Bible teacher. I'm not even saying that you agree with me. Don't agree. But let the spirit be a witness with you. Because I think it's not right. I don't know why pastors want everybody to agree with them. Why should you agree with me? You don't have to agree with me. Like I said the other week, that a man and a woman cannot be friends. People abuse. <laughs> they have the daylight out of me. Worldwide. <laughs> I, will, I, I will say it again. A man and a woman cannot be friends. In the, because look at it this way. The day... He comes up with someone and says, this is the person I want to marry. I will not be offended. After we have been together for five years, going out to eat, and I share with somebody else, uh, outside of you, I will not be offended. It's good. We can be friends. But is it possible? Is it not as good as God, thunder will fire you? You will not be, cannot agree. If, uh, and some of the ladies were abusing me on the, that television, TV, and they were, no, they were on TV, television, they discuss the issue for over one hour, abusing me. Listen, you know, they will give me a call. Me, I will now come to TV. I come and explain myself. God forbid. Are you the one that, me, I will now sit among those people and be explaining myself what I meant. I've told you before in church, upstairs, I don't want to be the, I'm not the pastor of Abuja. I'm not the pastor of Nigeria. I am pastor of Grace V and Epignosis. So I'm not talking to you. You are the one that subordinated to my affair. I'm not the one that posted it. I don't know who posted it. So deal with it. Uh, they call me. They call, call me. I will not sit here. Uh, uh, what I meant. What I meant is what I said. I spoke English. <laughs> Go and read it. That's not what they want me to say. So, I know, uh, 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 yeah. so you know, you are a married person. Now, look at uh, this beautiful couple, uh, Ronke and Nathan. And then Ronke's best friend is Imam. <laughs> Could it be possible that? Say, where is that? Say, uh, uh, who are you talking about? I'm, I'm talking to Shino, my friend. Is it not how to take your phone and smash it? <laughs> it's not possible now. Why are we deceiving ourselves? Why are we deceiving ourselves? Even if my daughter comes home right now with a guy, if I see him first day, second day, I will pretend I say I'm okay. But third day, if I ask who is this guy, he says we are friends, I will shoot the boy. <laughs> because you are wasting my daughter's time. <laughs> what is friend? Friend, don't finish among Miriam, among uh, Grace, among, are you, are you here in among Ngozi? Friend, don't finish among them. What are you looking for in Chukudi? <laughs> it shall not be tolerated in this world or in the world to come. God bless you. <laughs> uh, 
Hallelujah. Okay, well, let's go. This, this is how we talking, talking about time we go. I want to go home. <laughs> Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I commit my brother and myself to your holy hands. Where we have erred, direct us. Where we have done it our own way, consciously or unconsciously, we ask for your mercy. In the name of Jesus. At the end of it all, let your name be glorified in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe me. I talk long today. Maybe because I wasn't here last Sunday. I did two services. Let me package our offerings. Hey, my God, thank you. Let me package our offerings. Want to give an offering? The accounts are on the screen. And if you can join us upstairs today for, for Feast of Songs, it will be an awesome honor on our part to have you. Oh, Father, we give you praise. So, I can see some of the children church teachers here. That means you are listening. God bless you. Hallelujah. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if you give me your tithe, will you please be on your feet? Let's pray together, please. Oh, you already sent it in. Let's pray together. Let's believe God for the blessings of God. <coughs> my Father, my God, I thank you, my brothers and my sisters. I thank you for their finances, and I thank you for your favor over their lives. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because the Vora is rebuked concerning them. And I thank you because you are watching over your word to perform it in their lives. My Lord and my King, I ask that you open over their lives, windows of heaven, pour out your blessings in such a manner that they will not have room enough to contain in the name of Jesus. As we sow our seed this morning, thank you because your grace comes over every seed that we sow. It is multiplied to us severally. We declare by faith that there is no poor person among us. Let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And one part last day, we take authority over the spirit of poverty. We break your hold over our lives. Let there be a flow in the name of Jesus that will bring our borders our way in the name of Jesus. Everything hanging, I lose it this morning. All businesses hanging, I lose it this morning. All proposals hanging, I lose it this morning. Ah, that's a pouring forth. In the mighty name of Jesus. I give you praise, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Everyone who has made you promises, may the Lord quicken their heart. This week, may the Lord quicken their heart. May the Lord bring you into their remembrance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Please, let's give our offerings. For the people of God to enter, step out of the nest, spread your wings and soar, surrender. Epignosis, concise knowledge.